it looks like you put on some weight over the offseason. You still consider yourself one of the one of the skinnies? Oh yeah, I'm always gonna be a skinny, no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> probably gonna be a skinny. Do you know how much weight you put on over the offseason? Uh, I would say I didn't put a lot of weight on, but like most of the fat that I had, not, not it wasn't a lot, of course, because I'm a skinny, but most of it turned into muscle. So I say I probably put on around six to seven pounds of muscle over the past off season. So that helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Several people commented on you stepping up as a leader yeah. this offseason. Can you just talk about oh, yeah. why you decided to take on that role? How, did somebody ask you, or is that something you took on yourself? And then what kind of leader do you try to be? Oh, yeah, I, I would say, like, no one really asked me, but I know that with all the older guys, like, being in the room gone, so, like, somebody had to step up. So I would try my best to help everybody out, even though I'm not the oldest one in the room, but we need somebody to take that step up, and I felt like I'm going to take the step and do that and help everybody out. Sometimes it can be hard for a younger guy to take on a role. Oh, yeah. Like oh yeah, definitely. Like nobody. I, when I tell somebody, like not not trying to control anybody, like when I tell them the right thing to do, they do it. They got questions, they ask me, they even correct me. So like we we help each other all out. How much did the room change? But not just the room, like even your own personality have to change at the end of last season. When when Johnny and Jalen go down, and Michael leaves, and then it's it's you, it's you know it's Troy out there and Chris oh. out there in that way for that final three four games. How much of that does have to change your presence? Clearly, your production changed, but how do you have to change as a player? Uh, I feel like we had to change the player because we really had to step up. Because like, as at the end of the season, our, our older guys are down, so like now the coaches have now they got to depend on us. Like, there's nobody else to call them, so it's time for us to step up and do what we got to do. So I felt like we had to like mature faster than the average freshman receiver would have to. But like, that's what we needed because it helped us out. Do you feel like that bowl game, that opportunity, and the way you played is that more indicative of? what you're hoping to bring now? Oh yeah, most definitely. I'm, like, I, I feel like I still got a lot of room to improve. I'm still improving every day, but the bowl game really let me know that I really could do this. Like, I really could play football at a high level. So that was really my like my confidence booster right there. Like having a, like, that bowl game and how I had a good game, it, like, it really boosted my confidence a lot. Were you questioning that then at times in the fall? Uh, I, no, nah, I, I definitely questioned it last season based because we, of course we had a, a lot of older guys in, so I didn't play as much. So like, dang, uh, what can I do to like keep working and get on the field? So like, not get discouraged and just stay on top of everything. And the thing that I changed the most from this offseason, last offseason, was that I got in the playbook a lot. Like, every day I'm at the facility talking to the coaches, going over the plays, day before practice and everything. So I'm just putting more effort into off the field stuff that's going to help me on the field. What's your relationship been with Junior Adams? Oh, no, I feel like we have a great relationship. Like, from the, when we first got here, I questioned him because, of course, like, Coach B met with my coach before and I was really close with him. But after I had opened up to Coach Adams, let him talk to him. We like we our relationship grown a lot, but I really appreciate Coach Adams for like what he's been doing for me so far since he's been here. Big part of the spring practice is uh, getting on the same page with the quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of new guys, kind of uh, with Bo coming in. What, what have you seen from the quarterbacks and just getting in sync with them? I feel like we have a great group of quarterbacks. Like I feel like the job can go to anyone, and I feel like we got to keep working and getting our connection together. But this is gonna be a great season. Coming in the same year as Ty. How have you seen him grow in the past uh, off It's like vice versa. Like we both seen each other grow a lot. Like when we first got here, we didn't do much. We didn't start and none of that. But we was always working together, like trying to help each other out. Like if Ty knew something, I would go to him and ask him and vice versa. And we would always get work together. So we actually, I actually see him grow a lot. Like he's matured a lot than he was last year and everything. You playing mainly the X or the Z? Uh, I've been playing mainly the Z, but I get moved around to like to the slot and then sometimes to the X. Slot Y or slot T or? Uh, a. a. Yep. Hmm. Heard a lot about how this offense is pretty balanced, but more passive than it was last year. Mm -hmm. Do you agree to that? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. You like it? I love it. Yeah, I love it. We saw today in some drills receivers blocking, and uh, I think it was Crocker had a great block, mm -hmm. and Gillingham came over and celebrated with him afterwards. How much pride do you guys take in, in a successful run block? Like oh, that? we got we take a lot of pride because if the run block, if the run game is working, the pass is going to open up. So we feel like if we helping the offense, if we're blocking real hard on, on the perimeter. When the time comes to get the ball, it's going to be all good for us. So, like, we put a strong emphasis on blocking and being physical. Regardless of who wins the quarterback yeah. battle, that's somebody else's job to figure out. Right. That's some time. One of the questions of this offense last season was regardless of who the receivers were, can they stretch the field? Do you yeah. think this will be a more vertically stretching, explosive offense in the fall, regardless of who wins the quarterback I definitely feel like it will be very explosive down the field. Like we have a lot of younger receivers, but well, not younger now because we're growing up, of course. But I feel like we have the talent in the receiver where, though, we could take a lot of shots and bring in a, another receiver and still do the same thing with no drop ball. We, so. we heard from the quarterbacks they were watching film of, of this offense in past years, mm -hmm. mainly Memphis, a little bit of Florida State. You know, which film are you watching at the receiver? Uh, I watched a lot of the Florida State film because mm -hmm. they had like a lot of receivers there. So I watched a lot of that stuff where they run a lot of spread stuff, and that's helped me out a lot. Coming out of high school, Dante, you know, a lot of people knew about your speed. Not a whole lot of 6'5 guys that can run like you. You've talked about getting more in the playbook. 
How do you feel like your your game has changed maybe on the field? Any particular skill you're working on? I feel like like for me the game has changed a lot because it slowed down to me. So like last year I was like very worried about like messing up and stuff like that. Now, but now I just play like okay. I've been studying. I know what I gotta do. Now I can just play football freely. So it, like it slowed the game down for me. And, like one of the uh, strong emphasis that I put on the offseason to work on is like attacking the ball. Because with me being a bigger target, everybody gonna try to get up my chest and stuff like that. So I gotta be more physical and then go up and actually attack the ball and take it from me. So we've seen a lot of Ty Thompson and Bo Nixiger. Can you talk about uh, Jay Butterfield a little and his progression? Nah, I love Butterfield. Uh, I feel like, uh, of course, we got uh, Ty and Bo, but Butters is a great quarterback in my opinion. And when his time comes, he's going to show a lot of people that he's a great quarterback. But I feel like, like I said earlier, I feel like any other quarterback could take the starting job. I know, little, sorry, I know this is a little bit of a repeat from mm -hmm. before about the skinnies and whatnot. I know that was certainly the nickname last yeah. year, but you already had a little bit of bulk. Troy probably needed to add a little more. Uh, but but uh, anyway, it was uh, 169, it was listed once again. Do you guys, how much did you guys embrace that last year, but you want to change that? Because again, you were a little bit. Oh yeah, we, go, we work hard as I don't know what in a work in a weight room. Like getting to work outside of, like with the team. Of course we want to go work out with the team, but we go in there and get extra work after our lift groups. On, even on the weekends, we go in there and just working. If you know, it's push-ups, biceps, triceps, we just trying to do whatever we can to get bigger because we already know like a lot of people going to try to be physical with us because we're skinny of receivers. So we got to be able to take those hits and stuff like that. Chase Coda comes in and brings a lot of experience to that room. Yeah. What kind of additions has he been to the room? Like, how has he helped you guys? Because you're a relatively younger room. Man, I, I love Chase Coda. Like, it feels good to have an older receiver in a room who he didn't instantly know everything, but once he got caught up, it like it helped me out because like having someone else that could. Uh, go in if like if I'm down or not, not even being down. I need to blow. He can go in and actually know what to do. It's like it takes the pressure of having to, like worry about if someone is going to mess up anything. And Chase like he actually came in, learned the playbook, and is like actually adding on to that offense. So I feel like he's going to have a strong impact on this. You talked about you and Troy adding strength and adding weight. Have you seen that translate onto the field? Did definitely, definitely. Like with the blocking things. Like I feel like our mindset from last year changed. Like last year we didn't really like. Block could be worried about like not being strong enough, but now we feel like no matter who is in front of us, we're gonna block them no matter what, because we're working hard for it. So.